Amy Cooper, the woman who went viral last year during the pandemic because she decided to call 911 on a black bird watcher who just simply asked her to put her dog on a leash. And by the way, you can see how she was handling her dog in that video. She was so offended that he asked her to do something that she was supposed to do that she called the cops on him and made a false report in that call. Well, now it looks like she's really learned a lesson from that whole experience because she has now filed a discrimination complaint for her employer who had fired her after the video of the whole incident went viral. I'm gonna give you some details about that lawsuit in just a minute, but I wanna remind you all of what that whole incident was like. Take a look. Would you please stop? Sir, I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording. Please, please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm taking a picture and calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm gonna tell them there's an African American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm in the ramble, and there's a man, African American, he has a bicycle helmet. He is recording me and threatening me and my dog. There is an African American man. I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. <laughs> and my. I'm sorry, I can't hear you either. I'm being threatened by a man in the ramble. Please send the cops immediately. I'm in Central Park in the ramble. I don't know. Thank you. So after Franklin Templeton, her former employer saw that video where she's making a false report and she has been charged, she had been charged with that and she's also abusing her dog, let me just note that. They decided to fire her and now she's saying that the termination has to do with discrimination. The lawsuit alleges that Franklin Templeton perpetuated and legitimized the story of Karen versus an innocent African American who who it's perceived advantage with reckless disregard for the destruction of plaintiff's life in the process and charges that the company would not have filed or fired her if she were a different race and gender. By the way, the man that she made a false report on, he could have pressed charges, but he decided against it and wanted everyone to like kind of leave her alone because understandably people were piling on when that video went viral. Uh, she characterizes uh, him this way in her lawsuit. Uh, she says uh, that he had frightened her to death after, quote, after being selected as the next target of Christian Cooper, an overzealous bird watcher. That's, I, mean, I mean, she put that in the lawsuit. It's in the lawsuit. It's like, in the lawsuit. Frightened to death it's by the overzealous bird watcher. A thing that. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, look, I can't tell you the number of times I've been in, afraid for my life from bird watchers. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter because you saw the video. If she pretends that he's threatening uh, her life and specifically says it's an African American man, she's the she's worst. She's approaching him. She's approaching him right and here. That's right. And meanwhile, he says, Can you please not touch me? And in another uh, call, she said that he uh, assaulted her and, and he didn't. You see it in the video, right? I mean, she did every single thing wrong, let alone what she's doing to that poor dog, right? I can't, I can't watch her doing that. Can we please come back from that B-roll? It's just really difficult to watch her treat the dog that way. And remember, she said that he's threatening me and my dog while she's choking the dog. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now she's suing for racism and sexism. So look, we have covered endless stories of actual racism and sexism in this on this show, and there is. Unfortunately, thousands upon thousands of those stories. And the cause of those stories are hurt so much by frivolous nonsense lawsuits like this, charging racism and sexism that does not exist. And making a, a, a joke out of it and, and trying to enrich yourself personally by claiming racism and sexism that it was the exact opposite of what happened. It's disgusting. So, I mean, but you know what? People are so greedy. There's no end to their greed. After the incident, 
she apologized profusely. Can I read her apology yeah. actually? Because I think that's relevant to this lawsuit. Uh, this is the final graphic in the story where she says, it was unacceptable, she's referring to her own behavior. And I humbly and fully apologize to everyone who's seen that video. Everyone that's been offended, everyone who thinks of me in a lower light. And I understand why they do, I'm not a racist. I did not mean to harm that man in any way. I mean, let's keep in mind that we've seen countless police shootings of unarmed black men. I just think she should have been aware of the risk that, you know, he, she was putting his life in anyway. And then she also said, uh, I think I was just scared when you're alone in the ramble. Uh, you don't know what's happening. It's not excusable. It's not defensible. By the way, like, he was insanely calm, insanely calm. He just asked her to do what she was supposed to do, especially in that area where people go for bird watching. Please put your dog on a leash. And he's technically right, that's the law. That's the law, exactly. And, and so she went from humbly asking for people to forgive her and, and saying there's no defense of it to now going on the offense and saying that she's the victim of racism. She's the victim of sexism and, and that they wouldn't have fired her if she was any other race or gender. Yeah. And look, the, the problem is we need this, this court system for super legitimate cases of racism and sexism to protect people, right? That actually suffer from it, and that is the overwhelming majority of cases. But greedy, selfish people like this take advantage of the system and think, I'm just gonna get paid because I'm gonna sue them and it's gonna be it's gonna cost them a lot of money, and so they're gonna have to pay me and they're gonna give me a settlement if I just bother them enough. And it doesn't matter how outlandish my charges are, it doesn't matter how frivolous my lawsuit is. No, Amy, it does matter. Yeah. And, and and now, if we weren't sure you were a terrible person before, thank you for confirming it. So your apology obviously meant nothing at all, and this is who you actually are. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.